Hey guys, how you doing? Dan here. And today I thought we could have a quick look at 10 tips in two minutes to ensure you're getting the most out of your DJI Mini 2 videography this time. Now this video is gonna be a fairly similar format to my last video, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But don't worry guys, all of my videos aren't gonna be this quickly paced. I think the only thing to do now is to get into the tips and start the timer. Tip number one is to make sure you've got a manual white balance. If you've got an automatic white balance, it may fluctuate whilst the drone is moving and this can be very hard to fix. All you need to do is go into Pro Mode, go to white balance and make sure your auto isn't selected and then you just need to dial in your white balance. Tip number two is to manually expose your video as well. Like with the white balance this will stop any fluctuations whilst the drone is going through really really bright and really dark areas. You'll have a really nice consistent exposure. Whilst in pro mode you've got control over your shutter speed and your ISO. Your ISO should be as low as possible and your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. But the main thing here is you've exposed the scene as well as possible. Tip number three is to think about resolution and FPS. Just because you can shoot 4k doesn't mean you have to. Just because you can shoot 60 FPS doesn't mean you have to. Think about what you're shooting and think about what your scene calls for. Getting these settings right will save on processing power and also storage space. Tip number four is to think about adding really cool sound effects and music to your videos. I use Epidemic Sounds for all my music and sound effects and I would highly recommend it. I've left a link down below in the description and adding these to your videos will really help you tell the narrative you're trying to tell. Tip number five is to think about adding cinematic drone movements to your pieces. You may need to practice these a little bit but the more you practice the more cinematic your shots will look. Make sure to check out my full video on cinematic drone shots. Tip number six is to cut out any unnecessary drone movement. So whilst you're moving your drone to your next shot you might still be recording but this isn't great to keep in your final edit. It's not necessarily the most exciting thing and people want to see the actual cinematic shot. Tip number seven is to make sure you're using ND filters. Make sure your shutter speed is double your frame rate. This is really really important to making your footage look as cinematic as possible. Tip number eight is to play around with quick shots. These are automated drone movements which can add a little bit of production value to your pieces. Tip number nine, make sure you're editing the high resolution video files of that micro SD card and not the proxy files from the DJI Fly app. These are capped at 720p. And finally guys, tip number 10 is to find your own style. Be creative and don't always rely on too much on these type of videos. All these type of things are kind of techniques and tips, but all rules are meant to be broken. Find your own style and find some shots which have never been done before. I can breathe now. If you didn't see my previous video, which was 10 tips in two minutes for photography on the DJI Mini 2, make sure to check that out as well. I hope you learned something new or I hope this refreshed something for you guys. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.